Hi there, and welcome to BSF Recovery Team. I apologize for not posting any videos for the last couple of weeks, but I have a good excuse. I've been extremely busy. Unfortunately, not with repairing or replacing the wrecker. I started to do an update video for you on my plans for the wrecker, but unfortunately, here in the Midwest, the weather can change in a hurry. And the weatherman was predicting a big snowstorm, which posed a little bit of a problem for me. You see, I used to plow snow with the wrecker. Now with the wrecker broken, I needed to do something for snow plowing and quick. So I spent the last few weekends setting up my snow plow on the 88 four door that I used to haul the wrecker around with. Because the snow plow was set up for the lifted wrecker, I had to custom build a whole new plow frame for the 88. That took a lot of time. But we did get it done the night before the snowstorm, which was a good thing because we got dumped on by over a foot. Then we spent the next few nights after my day job plowing. Then, after some much needed sleep, we could get back to the video. Here it is. Oh, well, hi there, and welcome to BSF Recovery Team. As many of you know by now that I broke the record in half a few weeks ago on a recovery. And a lot of you have been asking what I'm going to do with the wrecker. Well, I've been looking it over pretty close and been doing a lot of thinking. And I think, because of the condition of the wrecker, it would be best to find a replacement. Let me show you why. The wrecker has taken a lot of abuse over the years. And my sheet metal, front clip, cab, all of that's in really rough shape and in need of replacement. Floor's been patched, rockers are gone, cab mounts are gone. The box, the wrecker box is still in good shape. So that's a usable piece. See, look at that. We even got cracks in the frame way back here. And of course, my engine and drivetrain are still in good shape. So, I think the best and easiest course of action would be to transfer the good parts onto another chassis. The big question is, what chassis do I want to transfer the parts onto? Many of you have come up with a lot of suggestions for a replacement to the wrecker. Some of you have suggested something bigger, heavier, and stronger, like this Bob Deuce here. It would make an awesome wrecker for some of the wider open spaces, like the southwest United States. But here, in the thick woods of Wisconsin and Minnesota, I think its physical size would be quite a problem. I do, however, enjoy reading all your comments and suggestions. And believe me, I've thought about them all. But the reality is, I'm real fond of what I had. And it worked very well in the woods. Not to mention the fact that I have a lot of spare parts for them. So, that's what I'd like to do, is replace the wrecker with something almost identical to what I had. That means I have to find an 80s four-wheel drive cab chassis. You see, the standard pickup trucks or the military CUCVs have a 131 inch .5 wheelbase. The wrecker here, or the cab chassis, was built with a 135.5 inch wheelbase. With the added distance right underneath the cab. That would make it rather difficult to modify the pickup truck frame to work for me. I also appreciate all of the links that some of you have been sending me to Craigslist and possible replacements for the wrecker, some of which would be perfect if they weren't so very far away. There is one link I received amongst all this chaos trying to get ready for the snowstorm that was very, very close 
and the price was right. So I did. I rushed down there and I bought it. It's an 80s K30 Chevrolet Wrecker, almost identical to what I had. You can see that I haven't even had time to get it off the trailer yet or move the trailer out of the way for plowing. The cab looks good on the outside, but like most trucks here in the Midwest, rust has taken its toll on the floor. The rockers have been replaced, the cab corners have been replaced. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do about that yet, but we'll figure it out. The front clip and the doors are definitely usable. They're in good shape yet. The wrecker box, of course, has an older style boom with a PTO winch. We'll switch it out with my hydraulic one. And of course, we have to build it into an off-road capable machine. But we have the parts and a model to work off of. And maybe some improvements along the way. The main thing is, it has a nice, straight, unrepaired frame that we can work with. And yes, of course, with Mike's help, we will strengthen it and reinforce it so we don't have the same problem we had before. It's not in as good a shape as I was looking for, but with a lot of time, effort, and some money, I can build it into what I want. Which brings me to another point. I thank you all very much for your comments and your offers of generosity to fund the wrecker. But I'll tell you something. These videos on YouTube are what I fund the wrecker with. Even though I'm not supposed to talk about it, the ads that you see along with my videos generate money that I use for operating the wrecker. And even though I can't tell you to click on those ads or to watch those ads, I can tell you that the more views my videos get, the more times those ads are seen, and the more times my videos are shared, so the more people that see them, the more money I generate for the wrecker. I thank you all very much for your generosity. I thank you all for watching, and I will keep you updated on the new wrecker, and I will also keep posting videos from this summer of recoveries with the old wrecker. Thanks for watching, BSF Recovery Team. And maybe we'll see you out there in the woods.